Hey guys, what's up? This is Derek with OMG. It's Derek.com. And today, we are doing another update video. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know that about two years ago, actually I think it's been two years to this month, I released a video on how you can stream to multiple live streaming platforms at the same time. The service is the same, but a little bit has changed since then. So, roll the intro. And let's jump into it. All right, so you might be asking yourself, why would I need to stream to multiple platforms at the same time? Well, the truth is you don't. Most streamers stream just to Twitch and they're very happy with that. However, with Twitch becoming more and more saturated, competitive, whatever the word is that you want to use, People were always looking for, including myself, a way to stand out. And one of those ways is to stream on platforms that might not have as much competition. So that could be platforms like Facebook Live, Mixer, Smashcast. Uh, there's, there's several other competitors to Twitch in which you can live stream your gameplay. When you're first starting out and you have zero viewers, it's very hard to get noticed on Twitch without doing outside marketing, outside promotion. It's a lot easier to at least get people to filter in through these other platforms who then eventually may filter over to your actual Twitch page and help you over there. Or you might just be able to grow an audience on one of those platforms. For example, maybe you have a Facebook page or a group that you share gaming related stuff too, whether it's memes, information, reviews, your clips from your live streams, things like that. Well, you could live stream straight to that group or to that page where you already have a following. And then again, try to funnel them to Twitch or you know do basically whatever you want from that point. First things first, let me explain to you how we do this. We do this with a service called Restream.io. Restream.io allows you to stream to their server and then they will blast your live stream out from their server to all the different platforms that you select. There is one small caveat, 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 whatever that word is, that I wanna mention before diving into this tutorial because when I created the last one, a lot of people asked me this. This service is free to use. You can stream to a lot of different platforms, Mixer, Smashcast, Twitch, YouTube, all of those services for free. However, there's one service that a lot of people like to stream to that is not free, and that is Facebook Live. To stream to Facebook Live, you will need their standard membership, which costs $19 a month, this allows you to add a Facebook channel or a custom RTMP server. And they also have a professional service which gives you up to three Facebook channels or custom um, RTMP servers. So you might have a Facebook page and a Facebook group and you wanna live stream to both of those simultaneously, you would need the professional package. So I did wanna mention there are paid for some of the features, but mostly for what we're doing, Personal will work for 99% of you, as long as you're fine with not streaming to Facebook, but instead streaming to YouTube, Smashcast, you know, Hitbox, which is now uh, Mixer, and Twitch, all of those services, you can do that completely for free with their service. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create, sign up for a Restream.io account. So you'll go to Restream.io, you'll click the sign up button, Fill in all your details and do that. I'm gonna assume that you've set up the account, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is log in. Once you log into Restream, you'll be presented with a dashboard that looks similar to this, in which you will have channel setup that you live stream to. So for example here, you can see that I'm live streaming to my Twitch page, my Facebook page, my Mixer page, my YouTube page, my Smashcast page, and Periscope, which is owned by Twitter, so that allows me to stream to my Twitter page. Now again, all of these services, except for Facebook, you can do with just a free account. Over here on the right side is where you get your RTMP URL, which is what you'll update inside of OBS from your Twitch uh, URL that, and stream key that you, had, that you had put in OBS when you first set that up to live stream on Twitch.tv. 
When you first log in, uh, you won't have any of these services set up. So you'll just click this add channel button, which will pop up all of the services that they have for free. And again, at the bottom here, you can see where they have the paid platforms like Facebook Live or a custom RTMP URL. But again, all of these are free. So Mixer, Twitch, YouTube Gaming, Smashcast, VK Live, Periscope, um, which is Twitter. Uh, you know, all these different services you can stream to completely for free. So what you'll do is you'll click on one of these and when you do, you'll be asked to enter your credentials and to authorize the app using your credentials for whichever platform you're trying to connect. Once you connect it, it'll appear here in the list and you'll have a uh, on and off switch for each individual one. If for whatever reason, uh, maybe you're live streaming something outside of gameplay and you only want it to live stream to certain platforms, you can toggle on and off whichever ones you want to toggle on and off. Once you have those set up, you can adjust your titles by clicking the titles button right here at the top. And you can type in your title here, hit update all, and it'll update the title across all the platforms that you have connected over here inside of your dashboard. You can't now, outside of updating your title, you'll need to update your games, which you'll need to do manually for each one that requires a game. So as you can see, Twitch requires you to list the game, Facebook does not, Mixer requires you to list the game, YouTube does not, Smashcast requires you to list the game, and Periscope does not as you can see just from my examples of the platforms I stream on. And to do that, you can just click on any of the game titles and here just update the game and click the update. And again, you can update the title across all the platforms by typing it in the top bar and hitting update all. You can also turn on a social alert, which anytime you go live, you can have it automatically post to say your Twitter, your Facebook, or your Discord channel if you, uh, you know, help try to funnel people to your Discord to create a little bit of a community. As you can see, I only have it posted to my Discord because everywhere else I do a personal message that I blast out when I go live. So now one of the questions I, I get right after explaining to somebody that you can do this is they'll say, well, how do I keep track of all the chats across all the different platforms? Well, another great feature of Restream, which again is included even in their free package is they have the, a chat application that you can either download or run directly in your browser. When you run this in your browser, um, so let me go here to overlay settings just to kind of give you an example here. But when you go into um, that chat, whether you launch it through the uh, browser or you download the application and use that, you'll see here kind of happening in the preview, no matter where they're commenting from, you'll have one chat application that will display all those messages. My recommendation would be uh, you can change the settings in here and then you have the URL right here at the top that you can copy and paste into your OBS as a browser source, which allows it to display on your stream. So once you have all of that done, the la once you have your Restream account all set up, you have the chat application downloaded, you know, it added to your OBS as a source so that others, you know, uh, platforms and stuff can see messages from other platforms. The last thing you're going to need to do is update your OBS so that it streams to Restream instead of whatever platform that you want to stream to. So the way that you do this is you're going to copy this URL here in the RTMP URL. We're going to open up OBS. And again, if you're using Streamlabs OBS, this works exactly the same. Um, the only difference is in Streamlabs, your little gear icon is up here in the top right hand corner of Streamlabs that you would click on. In OBS, you just click the settings button down here. That'll open it up and you'll go to the stream tab and here under stream type, you'll choose stream and services. Um, you used to have to choose custom stream and server and then put in this URL, but OBS and Streamlabs both now has under their services Restream listed as a service. So you'll click Restream. The server, you'll select whatever server is best for you. Restream does have an auto detect feature now, uh, which you can choose here under auto detect. And also here, you can choose to auto detect. But as you can see listed here, this is still currently in beta and I've not had much luck with it. So for me, I choose the server that's closest to me, which is US East Washington DC. You'll want to choose the service clo the server closest to you. And then here is where you'll input your stream key, which you'll get by clicking in this box, which I'm not going to do because it'll it'll show my stream key. You'll copy that stream key and you'll paste it in here. 
hit apply, hit OK, and you're ready to go in OBS, assuming you have everything else already set up and you've been live streaming to Twitch.tv already. And that's it. It's that easy. Once you set this up in Restream, you change that URL in OBS, you're good to go. Like I said, you'll want to use Restream's chat um, application or you know browser function instead of your normal chat that way you'll be able to see all the different chat messages across all the different platforms that you choose to live stream across all right guys like I said that's it it's really that easy I just wanted to do a quick update video because I get so many people responding to the old one saying things have changed they can't quite find you know the, the right places to do things in etc etc software has changed we now have Streamlabs OBS which we didn't have when I made the other video two years ago thanks so much for watching I appreciate it if you guys liked this video please hit the like button it helps me out a lot it gets this content out to other people I really appreciate it and if you really like my content and you want other tutorials on how to do things like uh, getting the best settings out of your microphone, getting the best settings out of your webcam, um, you know, getting the best quality out of OBS, things like that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button below because I post tons of tutorials all the time on things like that and already have a lot of those types of videos on this channel as well as other videos like vlogs and stuff. Uh, so again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.